Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, we coming in with Power Book for Force, Episode 7, Outrunning a ghost. ghost. Let me tell you, but before we even get into it, which was a good episode, by the way. Very good episode. Um, let's go ahead and let you know about the shirts yeah, and whatnot. Man. Our shirts are always probably going to be from Power in Black. Dot com. Go ahead and use my code Lynette, L-Y-N-E-T-T-E, to save yeah, you 25% man. off your entire order. Tell them that Random TV Reviews sent you over there. Yeah. Let's go ahead and run this real quick because the storyline was simple, but it was a lot going out. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Like you said, it was a very, very good episode. And like we said last week, we knew once Dahlia hit the streets, it was going to fly like wildfire, man. So, in this episode, we saw that Liliana comes into the club, and she introduces the drug in the club, and it shoots like wildfire. Matter of fact, the dude she introduced it to was like, I want in. <laughs> like, no questions <laughs> right. asked. Right. <laughs> like, he was ready to put up his savings for it. <laughs> yup. <laughs> so, now that it's going like, moving like wildfire through the club, Tommy is like, you know what? It's good and everything, but this drug costs too much goddamn money. You know, the average Joe can't afford this. So we need to figure out how to make, to keep it the same, but make it cheaper. But I was yeah. like, like, tell me how you do that. Hey, Hunts, great value. Oh, yeah. Everybody need ketchup. <laughs> Two ninety five. Or nine seven six. That's that's what Thomas say. We got to serve everybody. <laughs> but he but, but he right though because right. because he's trying to be to take over Chicago. So only giving it to a certain amount of people. That's gonna be it. So right now he only can, can sell it to plugs. Yeah, so the I mean, plug the plugs only one that got the money for it. I or, mean it's the same or, thing or, as the coke and the crack. Yeah, right, same you, thing. Yeah, you coke gotta and be crack. rich. Yeah. Got to be middle class or above the four dollar. Because that makes too much <laughs> money to smoke crack. Crack is wet. So Tommy uh, takes that information back to the scientist, and, and she was like, there's no freaking way I can do that. Tommy's like, you can do anything. So all episode, you can see her scrambling, trying to make this thing more cheaper. Got Liliana babysitting her to the point that she was like, I need to report back to work. You know, because they, they, they don't know they're going to be looking for I'm me. I'm dependable. <laughs> yeah, and I got a date tonight. So, so Tommy ended up making Liliana chaperone her on her date. And her date was like, this is like pretty weird. She was you like, know? this is my cousin. You know, she came in from Miami. Right. First of all, yeah. were y'all <laughs> thinking what we were thinking when she was like, I'm going on a date with a... Y'all was thinking it too. Y'all yeah. were thinking it too. I was like... Oh, I didn't see that one coming. But see, I was expecting for her to be like sitting at another table, like a far yes, off. Yes. I'm like, you know, this dude that don't, don't know you and you got a cut on your face. He probably <laughs> like, what kind of bull skin is this? You bringing this chick over here with a cut on her face to hide them talking about your cousin. And she's not even low key about it. I'm like, yeah. she interjecting. I'm like, just just sit there mm. and drink some water, eat some bread or something. Yeah. <laughs> So now plan two is that they need to go back to the club to reintroduce the drug. So they came up with hiring these girls. And I think that was Claudia's plan to hire, to hire these girls in which I was like, it looks good, but I think it's going to go wrong. Because I think, be yeah, because um, what's that? Yeah, it's going to be a snitch in the group. That's, that, that's exactly what I was going to say. going to be a snitch because... And then with the girls, Claudia had that little sidebar conversation with that girl about Vic. And I was like, this is going to be a problem because Tommy is about loyalty. And you told Tommy to keep this far away from your family as possible, but you going behind his back. And making sure that Vic knows something about it, even yeah. if he doesn't know it's you. Exactly. And so then we saw that when they got back in the club... That Janard found out about it because the girl goes to Janard, and then the girl that that uh that uh Claudia told to go to her brother did the same thing, and so them both of them have tried the drug, and now they like, oh my god! Now Janard was like, I need my hands on this right here. I don't Janard know. Janard is a Janard. different kind of drug yeah, addict. Yeah, like Janard is a real drug addict. Yeah, like this Joker <laughs> was like, I said. Do, do y'all need a room? Like, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I felt like at any moment I was going to see some. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm like, dude, you, you got it. <laughs> so, like, so this is why I believe was going to go wrong with these girls. Because even when Jannar tried a drug and when he, when he was having sex with the girl, he was like, what is this? Who You know, who's behind this? Mm -hmm. But I thought that she was getting ready to tell it. Me too. 
I thought she, but she didn't tell it. But I, like you said, I believe it's gonna be somebody that's gonna have some loose, that's gonna have some loose lips. Cause that might be a side effect of the drug, man. You know how they say alcohol is a truth serum. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> the, you don't know. Like they said, they ain't been on the street long enough to know anything about it. Exactly. So then this episode, we see that uh, D Rock and the other guy presents a business plan about going to Garrett to expand the business. But Diamond think it's a bad idea. Diamond's like, we just need to be centralized here. Matter of fact, <laughs> what did he do is to be centralized. <laughs> we need to be centralized here. Which Diamond is very level-headed and, and Janard wants to move fast to expand the business. Mm -hmm. So what they decided to do was to go behind Diamond's back and still make the move. And I was like, oh, hell, here we go again. Yeah. Yeah, here we go again. But we're making moves behind Diamond's back. And I know it's going to come back to bite them in the A. Of course it is. Yeah. Of course it is. <laughs> and so, uh, Jannar ended up confronting uh, uh, D-Rock again was like, you know, why should I even trust you on this deal? I, you were supposed to been doing this thing for me and you backed out. So, yeah, in order, if, you want, if you want me to go with this deal, I'm going to need you to let me know where Tommy is at because we smoking him tonight. Tonight. I was like, I said, Go on. Tommy lives rent free in Jannar's house. Yeah, he do. <laughs> like, Tommy all over the city doing his work, and you're sitting in the freaking basement <laughs> yeah. talking about Tommy. <laughs> but I did not see this one coming. I did not see this one coming because we saw in the episode when D Rock came to Tommy, I actually thought he was sneaking up, sneaking up on Tommy to take to, him to, out. To take him out. But Tommy grabbed him, but he ended up letting Tommy know, hey, keep your strap close because somebody got a hit on you. But he would not he tell Tommy, Tommy who it was. But I'm like, Tommy don't figure it. No, it's got to be somebody in CBI. Because Tommy like, is it Jannard? Is, is it, it Diamond? Diamond? Yeah. So he all he already knows. So I was like, okay. So then Tommy was like, why would you even do this for me? And then old boy was like, I have my reasons. I have reason. my reasons. Yeah, because that's your uncle. Right. And now you know it. And last week we were trying to figure out how much of that conversation did he hear? Yeah. So he heard enough to know that I can't, I can't buck with Tommy like that because that's family. Right. I'm like, whoa, this is getting real deep. Yeah, getting real deep. And y'all was correct. Old girl is a reporter that's messing, <laughs> that's messing with Diamond. But however, we see that she really don't want to take Diamond down because when she was talking, I guess it was her boss. Um, and she was like, we need to crack the story of, you know, the rise and fall of Diamond Sampson, you know, the biggest drug dealer in Chicago. We need that story. Amen. Yeah. Um, so she was like, I really don't want to do it. You can see there written on the butt. You see that she is going to do it. So I was like, like she really, I was like, I'm like, she really liked Diamond for real. So he, he, he would drop him down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Said the D do it every time, man. Uh -huh. Do it every time. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so also in this episode, Vic wakes up, tells Gloria, hey, we should go to such and such to get some breakfast. We're going to first watch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And she gone and left a note and be like, basically, I can't do this no more. Your father ain't never going to let this happen. I need some time away. And we can see all episode that Vic was in his feelings. Oh, yeah. I, I actually thought he was back in. I, I I thought he was back in. Yeah. But at the same time, Walter is too dead gone much, man. To he deal is too with. much. He is too much I to like deal with. I like that Vic let him know that he was That's too much. Yep, yep cuz Vic, <laughs> yeah. So Vic had to end up telling Walter that, hey, you ain't gotta worry about Gloria no more because we're over. And and of course Vic was like, Yeah, that's that's good for you. You know, you oh, got a Walter. lot. You Walter well, Walter was like, You got a lot to look forward to in the future. <laughs> it'll get, you'll get over it. It'll yeah. take time to get over it, but it'll get easier. <laughs> yeah, and Vic was like, this sounds like a death sentence. He was like, no, it's not a death sentence. Son. And, and, and that's the thing that I, that I just, just can't stand about Walter. You, your son is here hurting. hurting. And the only thing you can think about is the business. Is the business and heritage. And, yeah. That doesn't mess sound familiar. Yes. Yeah, yeah, dude. And so Vic was like, well... You know, your blood, but Gloria was home. I said, ooh. Yeah, so you could tell that, like, that cut, that, him, yeah, deep. cut him deep. And I was like, yes. <laughs> and he was like, every time I made a mistake, I made a mistake because I always chose you, you over her. Yep. And I said, thank you. About time yep. that you actually said it to him, point blank, period, boom. Yep. <laughs> and it doesn't make a difference, though. <laughs> 
All right, also this episode, um, JP lets Tommy know that the grandma actually had a stroke. Or an aneurysm. Or an aneurysm that's going to basically cost more money. And JP is like, you know what, I appreciate charity and everything, but I like to make my own way. Yeah. And, and I'm the same way. It's like, yeah, I will take help slowly, but it's like I want to pull my own weight. I want to make my own money. I want to provide my own stuff. You know, call it hey. pride, call you will. Hey. I don't want nobody ever to have to say that you got what you got because of me. Hey, I be 44 this year. Give me whatever the buck y'all won't give me. I don't even care no more. Cause I've been working hard. My I've been working since I was 15 years old. I've been 44 this year. If I can get it, you gonna take it. Boom. Shut off it. So you ain't turning down nothing but your car. None but. <laughs> None but. New year. New me. <laughs> so JP says the worst thing that he could ever say. We need to call Kate to let her know that her mama is sick. <laughs> Talking like, 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 Everything I hear about her comes from other sources. I ain't never, I ain't never had my own experiences yeah. with yeah. her. So what is it what, that she did that was so bad towards you that you can't forgive her because I'm willing to forgive her? And she cut, and the, she, she cut the cord and left and me. Dropped, <laughs> and I mean, dropped, literally yeah. cut the cord and disconnected from me as if I was old skit. And I said, that was kind of. Yeah. Man, you're a good Christian because I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I could be. <laughs> I don't know if I could be that forgiving. But uh, Tommy was like, well, she decided that she would love a ghost more than me. Yeah. And I was like, uh -huh. is this really the straw that broke the camel's back? Because mm -hmm. Kate has done way worse than yeah. love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 First yeah, of all, part. the <laughs> sexual relationship that... You, Y'all remember yeah. that, right? Hmm. Am I the only one that remembers that Kate and Tommy was a little too close for, for mother and son? They was. They were very, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Tommy is still pushing back on JP like, you ain't getting nowhere near this business. And which I get it. Yeah. Because every time that Tommy does business with family, he end up getting hurt. So it's or like, they end up or, they, or they end up getting hurt or or dying behind it. So I can, I can understand him not wanting JP to be a part of this, but JP was like, well, let me do something easy. And Tom was like, ain't nothing easy about this business. He was like, you know what? You can clear the money through my club. I was like, there it is. But this time right here is Tommy didn't even have to ask for it. He offered Because he manipulated yep. this situation <laughs> yep. where it's going to come back. Yeah. It's almost like when somebody around you keeps talking about how broke they are, and then you offer them money. No, they didn't technically ask you for the money, yeah. but they they, they insinuated called, they <laughs> called broke yeah, so they much yeah. that I don't <laughs> dug in my pocket and pulled out some money. Well, you can't say I I asked you for it because yeah, they I, didn't. That's exactly. I'm what just I letting mean. you know what, what my position was. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we saw last episode when Walter shot the three Serbs and. This episode, he is, I'm not going to say afraid, but he's concerned that they're going to return. And they are? Yeah, they definitely going to return. So he tells Polly, and Polly was like, what the hell you do that for? Don't you know you just you just to open up Hell's Gate? Yeah, Polly was like, we have a good standing relationship, relationship. with yeah. them. Like, they, why would they come to hit us? Right. And when they come to hit, we don't have the manpower that we used to have. I was like, what? Because you remember, <laughs> they've been losing folk. Yeah, true that. Yep, true that. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, yeah, so Polly is like, I, I, I'll i let everybody know, but basically, this is going to be a, to me, it's going to be a death wish for their crew. Oh, yeah. Because when Definitely. the serves coming, that's going to be, it. and I got to, do you think, do you think they're going to take Walter out? No, because it's going to be too or, easy. Or do you think the cancer is going to take Walter out? Let me think about that one. Um... I think cancer probably would take him out because that's going to be what hurts the children the most because they don't know. Well, or, well, Vic knows, but or because I feel I feel like at this point that Walt that Walter keep doing all this bullshit, but he have not had any consequences for his bullshit. So I got a feeling that either he, um, you know what, what might happen is mm. Claudia or Vic might take him out. No, Claudia or Vic might get killed by the serps. Sir, uh. yeah. Because I feel like something needs to, like, really shake happen him. to shake him. Yeah, death. Him. 
I mean, him dying, <laughs> it, it, let, don't, let, it, let, don't, it don't freeze the rest of them. Shake, shake, rattle, roll. Don't you wait <laughs> for that person. So, yeah, I, I definitely want to see it because I feel like Walter just needs something coming to him, man. Because uh, it's yeah. like, yeah. I mean, somebody like him, it, at the end of the day, nothing's going to shake him. But like you said, it's The children. kids, yeah. Um, because this death, this death sentence that he has <laughs> that he refuses to take seriously, that's why it's a death sentence for him. Yeah. That's not even rattling him. He still, he legit <laughs> looking at stuff about lung cancer and then lights up a cigarette. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> that's almost like being diagnosed with diabetes and just eating a bowl of oatmeal with straight white sugar. Like, I, I like, like, like they say, I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> and so now <clears throat> he hiring security guards. To watch over Claudia and Claudia, I don't need no guy doing security guards. Give me a, give me a pistol, a and gun. He really want me to protect myself? And he was like, "You don't even have it in you to shoot a gun." I was like, "That's what you think." <laughs> she, she buried two people last, last week. week. Yeah, you don't know nothing about none of this. <laughs> and you supposed to be the head, of, the head of the organization. <laughs> you don't know skit. <laughs> and then we saw that Tommy ended up killing them. Yeah. Because they were doing their job yep. and watching Claudia. But, but they, yeah, you were too close to Dallas. You were too close to Dallas. Yeah, you were too close. And then Tommy comes in there and was like, hey, um, I thought you said you're going to keep your family and your people away from the business. She said, what you talking about? He was like, you had two people outside. She said, well, where are they? He was like, oh. They ready to go to the woods? Do you? Do we have a problem? She's but, like, nope, my dad have a problem. But the question is now, because you remember Tommy said, I don't like to second guess people. Well, if I second guess you, I can't all this you. skit is over. Yeah. But I know he's not talking about just not selling down you, but he's talking about body dropping. Like, if this skit don't work, I'm going to kill you myself, Claudia. That's what I was taking. What a yeah, question. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, who are we talking about here? So I'm like, now he got doubts about her. And, you know, Liliana had doubts about her even from, from, the, from jump. the jump. So I'm like. But like he said, we have need of her right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So right now he's not going to touch her. Just like the scientists. I'm scared for the scientists. Because after it's all said and done and they have enough. Or Liliana has watched her enough to know the compounds of yeah. how to recreate it. You out of here, yeah. you out of mm -hmm. here, scientist bae. Mm -hmm. You out, dog. Nick told you, you, you got too much information. Yeah, no too much. Yeah. Like we told y'all that Jannard decided to go behind Diamond's back and go to Garrett anyway to meet what you call his cousin. And it was a lot. Yeah. Going on it was a lot. <laughs> what y'all saw it, so. <laughs> I said, I asked we got thought, the eye, we got the ear. Yeah, it was, yeah. We got a lot of disrespect. <laughs> yeah, it was. Old boy was like, you can't disrespect my cousin. Like, he a veteran. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I said, wait. Did we do? He's a veteran. Yeah. You can't, though. You can't do so, that. So, yeah. So, I can't wait to see what's going to happen with this relationship behind Diamond's back. Uh, how that's going to go left because I know it's going to go it's left. It's going to go left. You because it started off left. Yeah. Like, yeah. Because old boy was like, oh, y'all decided to bring stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, talking cash money. And Janar said, hey, can you see the future? I mean, with your good, good eye. Good eye. Yeah. <laughs> and I was waiting for him to say something. Can you, can you hear in the good ear? Uh, good ear? Yeah, that would have been funny. Yeah, that would have been. <laughs> I said, it was a lot going on in this scene for no reason. For some reason, I don't think any of this was in the script. No, no. Couldn't have been. Too nah. organic. So at the end of the episode, we see that uh, scientists made them figured out how to make Dahlia more cheaper. And so, of course, we need to try it out. But to my surprise, I didn't think that old girl was going to try it out. Yes. So all, all four of them took hits. Not the kiss hits, but, the, but through the snorted. nose. Yeah, they snorted that <laughs> Wait, skit. Where was that The that? nose hit. <laughs> They snorted that skit. And it all... And then so, it was uh, delay, though. Because yeah. everybody else, when you do the kisses, like, the, the, like mm. yeah. it was like, a, I said, oh, no. Did she buck up? Did she buck up? Then it was like... So so <laughs> now we wondering now that when we come back next week, they gonna be is, is there going to be an orgy going on? Because every time <laughs> somebody get that, there's going to be some bucking going on. And Liliana <laughs> and Scientist Baby having some... Their interaction to me is getting real cool. Yeah. I said something about to happen. So, yeah, I actually thought that some bodies was going to be dropping this episode over Dahlia. So, yeah. I guess probably in the next episode or two, we're going to see that. 
Um, because the rest of these crews is gonna want to get their hands on by this drug. Oh, before we go, almost <laughs> forgot about this scene. Well, Diamond has Dahlia. Yeah. And he had a conversation with Tommy about, about it. it. And yes. I was waiting yes. for Tommy to let him know that this I is me. am behind it, but he played it off. Yeah. But even Diamond was like, This is this can rewrite history right here. I yeah. said Okay, so are you really considering it or you just don't want to do it with your brother? Because he's just too reckless. Like, how's this gonna work? Yeah. I think Diamond knows it's Tommy. He definitely. No, yeah. Tommy. yeah. He just wanted Tommy because to say look, it. Because when, when, when he took it out and put it on the table, Tommy's face gave it away. Mm -hmm. His face was like, how the fuck you, you get, get that? that? <laughs> yeah. First of all, first the fridge and all, if y'all only got a limited supply of the original Dahlia, y'all yeah. giving out too uh, much yeah, of a the, Yeah. <laughs> Why y'all got a whole tube like this, y'all? Yep. Y'all need to get about that much. Yeah. <laughs> Put it in all the clubs. Yeah. Give it to the head stripper. Like, y'all don't know how to work business? Look, I used to sell hair. You give it to the I thought you could ready to say, I used to sell coke. I ready to say, when you used to sell coke? <laughs> that is coke, though. <laughs> you give it to the top person, let them take a few pictures, everybody won't. Yeah. Man. That's how you do it. But yeah, y'all, y'all get in the comments. Let us know what y'all thought about power this week. And we're going to see y'all next week. Peace.